Hey guys, sorry about the lighting today. It is really cold outside and it is raining, so I don't have the blinds open today um, just because it's so cold. So it is just the light. And I'm sorry if you can hear a funny sound in the background. The heat pump is on because it is freezing. So yeah, um, I thought I would do another tag video today and I saw this on um, someone else's uh, video. I can't remember who it was, but it is called the Pretty Polish Tag. And I've just got the questions here in front of me so I'm just going to answer them one by one I'm not going to show any products I'm just going to talk about them and obviously if you like something then definitely go and get it so here we go this is a pretty polished tag question one when it comes to colors are you conservative or hot mama it's a really hard question I don't know I mean I like bright colours but I also really like the baby pinks and the sort of nudish colours as well I think I'm probably going to have to go with Hot Mama I think I would prefer to have bright bold nails than simple nails okay number two are you a drugstore junkie or high end diva definitely a drugstore junkie obviously we don't call um, well, I don't call our stores drugstores it's just a shop I don't know what really qualifies as a drug drugstore but it's sort of the cheaper option and I do definitely prefer the cheaper option I hate buying nail polishes full price I would rather get them cheaper than anything so definitely a drugstore junkie what's your all time favourite polish to date? would have to be my Essie Mint Candy Apple Polish absolutely addicted to it I love it so much it's the most gorgeous colour um, I would happily wear that. If it was the only nail polish I was allowed, I would happily wear that all the time. Number four. What's the most you've ever paid for a polish and least? The most I've ever paid for a polish would probably have to be my Essie polish. Um, I wanted it so bad and I just, I had to have it. And we obviously don't sell it in New Zealand. Well, we do, but it's really hard to find. So I found it and it was $22, I think, $23. 22 to $23. And I was like, I have to have this. I don't care how much it costs. And that was my most expensive purchase. Um, obviously, buying Revlon and OPI. I always buy OPI on sale. I don't think I've ever bought it full price. And then Revlon, I kind of buy full price. It's It depends. I mean, because you can get it um, on sale at Posty Plus, which is like a clothing store, but it also has a beauty section. And they are about $8, but they don't always have the colours that I want. But then um, if you go to certain pharmacies, some pharmacies have them for $18, which is, I think, full price. And then some of them have them for 16 So I'd rather buy them at $16 than 18 And I think I have bought most of them at 16 or otherwise cheaper than that. Number five, would you consider yourself pro painter or just an amateur? I'm going to say an amateur because some of the nail artists that are out there are just absolutely incredible they have so much detail and I mean I'm still getting into the whole nail art sort of picture I guess um, I can definitely paint on my nails and probably on other people's nails way better than I can on my own but definitely I still think I'm still an amateur I still have a lot to learn number six what's your biggest polish pet peeve it would have to be people not staying on their nail and going outside on the skin I never used to have this issue, like ever, ever, but since I have become really addicted to polish, I don't know what it is, but if someone has nail polish on their skin, it annoys me so much, and I just want to get my nail polish remover and a brush and just go around and fix it up for them, it's just, I can't stand today. Okay. Seven, what's more important, top coat, coat, toilet. what's more important, top coat or base coat? I have to go base coat. Top coat. Yes, it makes the, the, the uh, nail polish stay longer and shiny, but I would rather not ruin my nail polish. Um, nail polish. Not rather, I'd rather not ruin my nail by polishing it too much, obviously, and base coat protects it, so I definitely have to go base coat. Number eight, nail art. Love it or leave it? Love it. I love nail art. It's just, I love it so much, and if I could do it, all the time, I definitely would. I obviously, I have the days where I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered to do nail art today. I'm just going to have a simple look, and that's fine too. But I also, if I could just do it all the time, and if I was a lot better at it, then definitely, definitely, I'd be doing it all the time. Number nine. If you could design a polish, what would you name it, and what would it look like? I think it would probably have to be a mint. 
yeah, mint polish. At the moment, I'm addicted to the colour mint. It just, it's such a pretty colour. And, but I would want it to have sort of sparkles in it. I wouldn't want it just to be plain mint. I wanted it to be mint with some sparkles. Maybe a little bit of chunky glitter and then some really fine glitter. Oh, but for the name, I have no idea what I would name it. I'd probably just name it Polished and Pretty. Just because it's my name of my page in my business I guess in a way so I would say I'd probably call it polished and pretty and it would have to be a mint color with some sparkle in it number 10 share your best tip for the perfect manicure um I would just say if you're a beginner and you're doing a manicure make sure that you do stay away from the cuticles stay just a little bit further away from the cuticles than you normally would and if you can clean up around the edges I mean all you need is nail polish remover, a brush, or even a cotton tip. Like, they're so easy to do. You just dip the cotton tip in, go around as much as you want to get rid of any excess nail polish on the skin or even around the nails at all. And I think that's just the best tip is just to, to clean up after and around the nails. And they'll look so much better, so much cleaner, and it'll just pop out more rather than having the extra nail polish. And you'll, you'll want to show your nails off. Obviously, if you've got a little bit of extra nail polish on the skin and everything, it's sort of like, oh, I don't really want to show my nails off. But if they are super clean and sharp, you're going to be wanting to show them off. And people are going to be like, oh, wow, that looks really, really good. They're going to look so much better if they are definitely cleaned up around the edges. So that is my tip for today. So, yeah. And that is the end of the questions. It's a pretty short tag, which is really cool. And I really enjoyed this tag, actually. It was quite a cool tag. So if you want to do this tag, I'm going to tag all of you that are watching this right now. So I'd love to see the tags if you do if you do them. So leave a link down below and I will check them out, definitely. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like tag videos, definitely give this a thumbs up. And subscribing to me would be amazing. So, yeah. And if you've got any requests, leave a comment down below and I will get onto those requests as soon as possible. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys!